In this video, I will show you how to use Wakelet to create collections of websites, of videos, of articles, whatever it is that you care about, you can use Wakelet to collect those things, organize them, share them. In my opinion, it's the best social bookmarking tool available. Let's take a look. Here I am on wakelet.com and I'm just going to click sign up for free. It takes me to this screen where I can sign up with an email address and password or I could just sign up for Wakelet through one of these other accounts. So if I use Facebook a lot, that might be a good option. In this case, I'm going to click continue with Google. So I click that and this is going to connect Wakelet to my Google account. Once you've done that, you'll need to verify some of the details about yourself and then click create your account and you'll be set up to use Wakelet. Now Wakelet is a fantastic tool for teachers, for students, but also very useful in the business world. And also it's useful for anybody that uses the internet a lot. And you'd like to be able to save the key websites, videos, etc., that you find on the internet. In my case, I am an educator, so I'm going to click Educator, but you could click any of these others to tell Wakelet a little bit about yourself to help you get started. Once you've done that, you're able to create your first collection. So I'm going to click here on Create Collection, and I'll give it a title. And in my first example, I'm going to pretend to be a student, not a teacher. Let's say that I have an assignment to write a research paper about Napoleon. So I'm going to name this Napoleon Research Paper. Now, because this is the first time I'm using Wakelet with this account, I'm getting all of these help bubbles that are walking me through the steps. You'll only see that the first time, so don't worry about it. It's not going to always be in the way. But now that I've got the title for this Wakelet that I've just created, all I have to do to start adding resources, websites, articles, videos, etc. to this collection, all I have to do is copy-paste in the link for those things into this box. So I'm going to do their example here. I can just copy that, paste it in, and immediately it's added as a resource in my collection. And the third tip that I got from that pop-up showed that you can also add simple text. You don't have to add a website, a web resource. You could just click here, type in some text, something like, remember to get at least three peers to review the paper. And then I can just click away from that box, and that text is also added to my collection here in my Wakelet. Okay, I'm going to delete this puppy article. It doesn't really fit. So I'm clicking here on the three dots, and I can click delete to get rid of it, delete again. So now let's look at how this works in real life. Without having those pop-up bubbles kind of coaching me, how would I use Wakelet? Well, I'm just going to jump out on the internet, do some searches for Napoleon. Let's say I come across this article from the Library of Congress about Napoleon. With Wakelet, I don't have to waste time copying this link onto a paper or writing down the address or anything like that. All I have to do is go up here to the address bar, click on it, it highlights the whole address, and then I'll copy it. I like to use Control c to copy on a Windows computer and Command-C on a Mac. And then I'll just go here to my Wakelet tab. I'll click here where it says paste any web address and I'll use Control v on a Windows computer or Command-V on a Mac to paste in the address. It looks like nothing happened. It didn't even appear here as an address, but immediately this article that I found on the Library of Congress website has been added to my Wakelet. There it is. And now, at any time in the future, if I want to get back to this article, maybe to cite it or quote it in my research paper, all I have to do is click on the link. It takes me immediately to the right place. Now let's say I want to add more articles and websites to my Wakelet collection. I would continue to either copy paste the URLs, the web addresses right into this box, or there's a faster way you can add a Wakelet shortcut button to the bookmarks bar. And I'll show you how to do that in Google Chrome. If you use something other than Google Chrome, I'm sure there's a way to do it with those browsers as well. But I'm just going to jump over here to the Chrome Web Store. Here's the address for it, or you can just do a Google search for Chrome Web Store. And then I'll just click here to do a search for Wakelet. It brings it up. I'll select it and click Add to Chrome. I need to give it permission to do that. I click Add, and now Wakelet has been added to Chrome. I can X out of this here. And so from now on, whenever I use Google Chrome, I have quick, easy access to adding items to Wakelet. Now for me, it's kind of hidden right now. So if I click here on this puzzle piece, that's what it looks like to me, there is Wakelet, and I'm gonna pin it so that it's always visible. 
Okay, so now let's say I'm on this web page about Napoleon and I'd like to quickly add it to my collection. All I have to do is click on this W. I don't even have to go to wakelet.com. This tab could be closed. That's completely fine. I would just click this button. I get a little pop-up and Wakelet has automatically determined the name of this item that's going to be added to my collection. They've decided to name it after Napoleon, but I could put in something after that. Maybe I could type in from the History Channel, and then there's a little short blurb pulled from the web page. In addition to these options, the most important thing to know is you need to select where to put this particular item. In my case, I only have one collection so far. It's right here, so I can just click Save, and it'll save it into the right collection on Wakelet. What if I don't yet have a collection for this to go into? I could click here to create a new collection. So for example, I'll just click the plus sign. I'll set up a new collection called Teacher Websites. Click Create. Now I've got a second collection. In this case though, I want it to go into the Napoleon Research Paper. So I'll click there on Save and it saved it into my Wakelet. If I go back to Wakelet, immediately you see that that article has been added in. So I can very quickly just add article after article, saving each one into the perfect Wakelet collection, the one that I've set up for it. Here's another article I want to save to my Napoleon collection. And as my research continues, I'm just building more and more resources that I can later use to write my paper. Wakelet can really be a great help to students as they collect information for research projects, papers, essays, etc. I'm going to close out of those web pages because they're all saved to my account. Okay, let's look at a second example. As a teacher, I'm constantly learning about powerful websites that can help me be a better teacher or help make my job easier. And so I've set up a Wakelet collection for these web pages. And I can just click on the W, save it to my teacher websites collection, and that fast, I'm able to build a great resource for me so that I don't forget about some of these great websites, educational tools, etc. Now in my final example, I want to point out that Wakelet is about more than just collecting favorite web pages or articles that you want to use to write a paper. You can save just about anything that's on the internet to Wakelet. So let's say you discover the best YouTube channel ever created, you find a wonderful video on Excel, and you don't want to lose track of that awesome video, you want to be able to find it again and again. Yes, you can save it to your favorites in YouTube, but let's say I'm collecting all sorts of resources to help me with Excel. Not just YouTube videos, but videos from other websites and articles that are on the internet, and I want to collect all of it in one place. Wakelet is perfect for that as well. So I'll just click on the W, I'll set up a new collection, and I'll just call this Excel Videos and Resources. I could put in a description, but I don't have to, and then I'll click Create, and then I'll save this video into the correct Wakelet collection. It's saved. Here's another video that I never want to lose track of. It's amazing. So I just click on the W, save, and I could just continue to do this as I encounter excellent Excel resources, videos, and websites. So over the last couple of minutes, you've watched as I have set up three collections in Wakelet, and I can continue to add to these in the future and do so easily and seamlessly. Back here in my Wakelet account, I want to point out that here at the left, you can quickly jump back out to see other collections that you've set up just by clicking here on Collections. It takes you to an overview of what you have. So I've got a collection of Excel videos, teacher websites, and information about Napoleon for my research paper. Let's now look at how to customize these collections. Right now, they're very useful, but they don't look very good. So I'm just going to click here on this first collection, and I want to show you how I can customize this. I'm going to start by clicking here on this Design button. When I click on it, I get this panel that opens up at the right, and I can choose the image that will go with this collection. It will be its cover image. I could upload an image from my computer. I could design one from Canva. If you haven't watched my Canva videos, make sure you do so. Or I could grab like an animated GIF from Giphy or Unsplash. I'm going to search Unsplash just for a still image related to Excel. Here's a good one. I'll select that. And now I have a nice cover image for this collection. 
I'm going to click again on the design button. As you can see, there's some other options that I have. For example, my layout. Right now, the layout that I have makes it so that each video that's in this collection takes up quite a big amount of space on the Wakelet page. If I want to change that, I can. I could just switch from media layout to compact layout. Let's see how different that looks. So it is much more compact. I can still get to all of those videos, but they're not taking up a lot of space they're also not instantly playable. So I'm going to go back just to show you that with the media option selected, you can actually click and play and watch those videos right there from within your Wakelet page. We do have some other views like a grid view, a board view, columns, etc. Finally, we can also add a background image for the Wakelet page. Again, I'm going to search Unsplash, and I'll just find a beautiful background, I don't know, maybe this one here. And so now I have a fancy background behind my Wakelet collection. There are a few other things you can do to customize your Wakelet collections, so I would encourage you to check out the other options that you have here in the Design button. There's some tools here, there's an option here that you could look at. And then also, you may want to try the Collection Settings by clicking here. There's some powerful options like export your list as a PDF. You could give it to someone as a handout. You can move your collection. And there's some other options as well. What I need to show you next is what makes this social bookmarking. So far, everything I've shown you is just bookmarking. I'm bookmarking websites, videos, articles that I find on the internet, and I'm putting them in the right collections. Well, what about the social aspect of Wakelet? What makes this social bookmarking? And I'm going to click back into my Excel videos and resources collection to show this. What makes this social bookmarking is the fact that you can share your Wakelet collections. So I'm going to click on share here in the upper right. And if I click this button here, anyone that has the link to this Wakelet collection will be able to see the collection. So that's what you need to do in order to share. If you want, you can also publish it to your profile so that people can find it more easily. And then you can copy the link to this Wakelet collection. If you want something more than just a link, notice that you can generate a QR code. Anyone that scans this with their phone will be able to quickly get to that same collection, but on their cell phone. So that's a great option. There's also an embed code that you can use to embed your Wakelet collection onto a website, a blog, or an LMS. Notice that there's also a connection to Google Classroom, which is an exciting option and to Microsoft Teams. So those are some great features. So let's try that out. I've copied the link. I'm gonna open a new tab, and then I'm gonna paste in that link, tap enter, and immediately I'm able to see the Wakelet collection. Now back in my share settings, I want to point out that there's also an easy way to invite others to collaborate with you on this Wakelet collection. So let's say, I have a grade level team or a department team that I want to work on this with, or maybe I'm a student and it's a group project and there's four of us working on this project. You could invite the other team members just by copying the invite link, or you could use the QR code or some of these other options, but just send that to your teammates. If they click the link or go to the QR code and agree to collaborate with you, they will be able to add to the same Wakelet collection that you're working on. Notice that you can also invite with a specific email address or username. If you know that they're already on Wakelet, you can just put in their username. Otherwise, I would put in their email address. Now notice when you're adding people, you can select whether they can only add to the Wakelet collection or if you want them to be able to add and also edit, delete, organize, change, add text, etc. to the Wakelet items in the collection. Now to prove to you that I'm able to access this collection even without being signed in, I'm going to sign out of my Wakelet account. So at this point I've signed out of my Wakelet account and I'll paste in the URL. And what happens is Wakelet wants me to give myself a name, Anonymous Frog, that's as good as any. I'll click done and at that point I'm able to look at the Wakelet collection. So even though I'm not signed in, I may not even have an account with Wakelet, I can still see this shared collection because I was given the URL to this Wakelet collection. So I hope you can see some of the great potential that Wakelet has, whether you're just using it by yourself to collect your favorite resources that you find on the internet or whether you're using it as a student with other students as a way to collect resources for a project 
Or maybe you're a teacher, and maybe you and another teacher are collecting resources for this big festival or project coming up. Or even think about this. What about a family using Wakelet to collect resources about the family's history or family events that are coming up or have happened in the past? Wakelet is just a wonderful resource to help us collect and organize this kind of information. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video. And you can also support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video.